new fashion statement guys not really the mask is coming off and sorry the gloves the reason why I'm wearing that one is because it's it's a comic that this whole thing is so stupid it's almost comical but anyhow that's not my message yet it is <clears throat> It's about Daniel and how we've got the story wrong. But I was looking up some scriptures and in my Bible tool, one of my Bible tools. And you know, there's, there's pop-ups on the side. There's pop-ups about masks, selling masks. It's like, man, this got all twisted up, guys, really bad. But this is, this is where I'm at. This is my message with, for the Lord. How we missed the story of Daniel and Esther and Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Daniel was obedient to the Lord. And that's a cool story. Not a story. <clears throat> How he spared Daniel's life from the lion's den, the lion devouring him. the real purpose there's always the Lord always has it's unto something and it was unto changing the nation to turning to him because what did the king do when Daniel said oh king live forever he said we're going to worship we'll pray to Daniel's God One day it's worship me and this idol and this golden idol of self. And that's what America's full of. Everything from idol of death, holidays, politics, entertainment. Man, you can name them. Drive down any major city. I live in Dallas. Drive down any major city for 10 minutes. And don't tell me you won't come across a bunch of idols, bars, restaurants, food, clothing, shopping, self, self, self. But anyhow, but we want to change this nation. We want to take it back. It's going to be through prayer, that 5 a.m. prayer. That's what the Lord is really, 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 really telling me to highlight. And the reason it's 5 a.m., time of grace, but it's so that we can listen to our source and go to the well. No distractions, no, no internet, no news, no wife or husband or kids. If you don't want it to be, and it starts to. So I'll see you there. It's time to weep and pray between the porch and the altar, guys, as a nation. Because we're headed for a firestorm here, guys. This is not something that, this, this is not, it, man, I told, it was to change a nation. And the enemy wants us to look at the miracle, but the reason. It's like Jesus, it was to change the world. But instead, he wants us to look at the cross and the beating and the torment that Jesus went through and all that. And yes, all that's relevant. But Jesus knew the purpose and the reason and what it was unto. And that's why he went to the cross laid down his life as a servant to all. So we want to change Esther. Had to go to the king. Haman got PO'd because he didn't get his little position. That's what's going on right now in the politics. The governors, mayors, Congress, they're all jockeying for power and position and dictatorships and draconian rules and masks and just 
stupidity, guys. Honestly, I'm just going to call it what it is. It's just ignorance to the Word of God. And that's why I tell people when I'm like, where's your mask? It's like, I'm wearing it. His name is Jesus. His blood is more than sufficient. It's a Jesus thing, guys. I'm going to stand. I don't care what they say. Honestly, I don't. Because I'm not eating any more garbage, and you shouldn't either. So where are the Daniels and the Esters? The Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, same thing. King can throw them in the fire. He heated up seven times worse. Bow down, worship me. So the government's telling us, bow down, cow down. Some stupid virus. One virus took out the church, guys. Told that to some Christian people and they got mad at me. Well, come on, guys. The rubber meets the road on this one. Am I making this up? What happened? Most of the church caved in and cowed down. and <clears throat> I'm not saying that it's not coming back and that there wasn't some strong churches out there. We've been deceived and hurt and it's time for us to repent as a nation and pray and listen to God and seek his face and turn. And we're not gonna get it at drinking our cup of coffee and CNN in the morning time because they're full of, full of, full of, it's, it's, it's not. Democrats versus the Republicans. It's not the blacks versus the whites. It's not all this division and all this garbage. It's God versus the devil. Jesus came to set us free. That was his plan. The church has been disconnected, guys, from the power. Now we claimed it claim to fame and all the sensationalism and stuff. I'm not saying everybody, okay? I'm not, and I'm not saying there wasn't some good, strong churches in this. But he wants to, this whole coronavirus mess is because God, it's not to get our attention. He wants to rebuild the church upon the rock. Upon, his, upon him. In Matthew 21, okay? It's time to fall on the word and not let the word fall on us. Seek him while he yet may be found. I'm going to end with this. I think. He told me about Joel's army. It's time to prepare for battle. <clears throat> because Matthew 22 is about the marriage supper of the Lamb and he called it. Called the, called the people who he called, and they all ignored him and took it lightly. Nobody wants to hear this part of the message, but look what happened to the, to the people that just discounted God. That's when he went out on the highways and hedges to compel his people to come in. The broken, busted, tore up. Nobody's it. It's not that God's going to use him. He wants the glory, not... Not some church ministry. A lot of them look at what they are. Their ministry is their name. Not Jesus, not God, not the Holy Ghost, not His Word. It's all about them, their claim to fame. Seriously. That's coming down, guys. Because Jesus. His king. So where are the Daniels? Where are the Esthers? You know, when she went to the king, he didn't just walk into the king's palace and say, look, dude, what's up? You know, this is what, you know. And there was all the Hamans and all kinds of other people waiting to kill you, jockeying for positions, you know. The, just all this stuff, surreal, but... I want us to focus on the blood of the Lamb and Jesus and the cross and the power that's in it. Like I said, we've been disconnected. The power has been shut off. It wasn't there, guys. If it was, how did all this happen on our watch? How did the abortion, and it is, it is taking a life. 
Sorry. How did the LGBT come in? It's a militant movement. Just in your face. All about the lust of the flesh. The racism. The Black Lives Matter movement. All this stuff. Then when you pick up that, that racism is a demon, guys. Demonic force. 200 years ago. Yes, it was a dark, heinous regime. No better than, no better than Hitler's regime, honestly, guys. You know, I get that, okay? But when you pick it up, it's still there to destroy. Kill, steal, and destroy. So where are the Daniels? Where are the Esthers? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego is in this. I don't care, King. My God is able. Not about faith, guys. Knowing Him. And you're not going to know Him if we're not praying and seeking Him. Direction, guidance. Every single morning and day. So 5 a.m., guys. I'm not up every day at 5 a.m. I try to be, though. Sometimes it's two, three, sometimes I, you know, so exhausted I have to sleep in. It's just, you know, something that the enemy battled with me. But let's go back to this Joel's army when he told me to prepare for the battle, prepare for war. He said, prepare for war. He said, we're going to need a spear, a sword, and a plow. A spear to pierce the darkness and let the light in. Be the light of the world. That sword to destroy the enemy. And that plow to plow up the stony hearts. Not all of us have, you know, some of us are already there. We, you know, I get that, okay? I'm not preaching to everybody. I'm not anti-everybody or anti-Christian or whatever. What I'm saying is the world needs Joel's army to rise and shine. And so it's 5 a.m., guys. Get up. Pray. Seek God. Go to that well. Who's your source? Not coming gonna come from me, guys. It's gonna come from above. I'm just directional. I'm telling you to get there. What's he telling you? Use what you got. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um it's time for the, you know, the Daniels. Esther's to rise up. Esther, what happened? She exposed the enemy. Haman's plot. Right now it's, man, all, the government's gone crazy, guys, on us. From mayors, governors, and that's, there's some real serious dreams I've had, okay, guys? The one that I put out there about the storm coming, and I, I don't like this because it goes along with against, but it goes along with one of my messages about sensationalism. But it gave me the dates: 8 11 2020 to 9 11 2020. That was a year ago, guys. Look at it: the storm that's coming to America. I'm not making this up to get an offering from you or to to be the, you know, I'm not I'm running for office. Nothing. Looking for anything from you guys. I'm just being obedient to the Lord because I'm going to be the one standing before him and he's going to say, Steve, did you, do it? did you say what I told you to say? Did you tell my people what I told you? i got to be accountable for this, guys. I'm not taking it lightly. Not a game. The real deal. That's why I'm saying, get 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 on your. We're not going to win this by taking a stand. We're going to win it by taking a knee, by bowing before Jesus, by bowing before God, by listening to what the Spirit's saying to the church, not what our head is telling us to do and thinking and the garbage from all around the world and the governors and everybody else telling us to wear a mask, shut down, close up, stop. It's the Dem Democrats versus Republicans. You know all these idols, guys. 
got to go. Biggest one being the idol of ourself. That's why he wants us to die out. So die out, get up. Start your day with prayer. Don't start it with turning on your phone and checking your messages and texting somebody and emailing. And Man, what are you gonna do if the power really goes out? Honestly, the black, a big blackout or something, you know? How are you gonna text somebody or email them and the satellites get destroyed? But whatever, guys, I'm just telling you. <laughs> real power and, so, and source needs to be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Nothing else is going to stand in this storm that's coming, these storms that are coming. I've got several other messages. I'm going to, I took a couple days off and they're going to come out. Some of them are coming out tonight. One of them's really long, some dreams, so I'm not gonna be able to put it out on YouTube too much. I'm gonna have to just give you my, my email address is jesusalive at gmail.com. Jesusalive in America at gmail.com. So, you know, for the full version of it, cause I'm gonna have to type it in the computer, but that's one of the things that the enemies come against me with is my time. So, but I'm still on the wheel and God's still working things out. And I, you know, I took a couple of days off to do this. It's got me doing some other things too. And it's like, okay, God, I'm, I'm needing prayer too, guys. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in need of prayer. I'm, this message is not, you know, I'm up here and you're down there and I need it too, guys. I need it. The Holy Ghost divine direction too. So let's be the Daniels, the Esters. And take a stand. Sorry, take a knee. The stand is it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in a No one will be around, guys, mostly, really. With me at five in the morning, nobody's up. Kids, grandkids, if they're spending the night or whatever. Wife or, you know, it's me and my dog. Little dog. That's it. And God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. And that's where you need to be. You know, instead of feeding off all this garbage and frenzy and Distraction. It's like the whack-a-mole game, guys. It's like the enemy, you know, it's all over the place. Such a distractive, divisive. And you could feel it, the apprehension and the just the... That's why I'm probably going to honestly bring this with me. And when people really harass me about wearing a mask, I'm probably going to put this on. Maybe you should too, because it, it, like I said, it's comical. It's become... This just divisive, it's just, I get it, you know, but so does the enemy. He's trying to destroy us. So are we going to let him? Or are we going to get up and pray and see God and find his divine direction and do what he tells us to do? Are we going to listen to some literally dumb governor, mayor, politician, person who's abusing their authority. It's not about civil liberties anymore, guys. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So are you with me? Gonna pray and take this country back and this world back? Or are we gonna let some stupid one you know, a bunch of rich people and a, and a doctor. But honestly, probably my flesh says a lot more than this. But they got to be tried, tried for treason instead of listening to his stupidity about masks, wearing or not wearing. Where'd he come from? If there's any truth to what he really, really went on, Man, 
He's kind of like a Haman in there. Not kind of like he is. The enemy's using all kinds of people as pawns. So yes, we should pray for him. May or may not come through though. I don't know. That's why it says there's vessels for honor and vessels for dishonor. It's not political guys. It's not, and we've idolized even the president, Trump, 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 Trump. Whoa. You know, I voted for him, okay? Let's get it out there, okay? But he's not going to win the day. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word are. Too many idols, guys, we've got to get rid of. And you're not going to clear the deck and clean up your mind and the clutter and the cluster of this world if you're not listening. I'm not talking about listening to me. I'm talking I'm telling you the direction that I'm telling you coming from above is to get to the cross at Calvary. Get to Jesus. Get to the Holy Ghost. Get to God's plan. And you're not gonna get it when you got eighteen million thousand directions going on and you're just caught up in stuff and self and these idols. It's called coronavirus stuff, guys. Church had become an idol, guys. Ministry had become an idol. People had become idols. I have more to say, so I'm not going to keep on about this. I'm telling you, where are the Daniels and the Esthers? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. My God, God is able to deliver us, <clears throat> even if he doesn't. Because that's what if he doesn't. <clears throat> so we love you guys let's win this battle in prayer and seeking God and the wisdom from above and his direction lead God and direct us to all truths and then the action do what he tells you to do be where he tells you to go whatever it is because he's looking for that obedient, willing vessel to be meat for the master's use. So, are you a Daniel, an Esther, Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego? Or honestly, are you just gonna cowardly cow down and hide and hole up to fight another day All right, guys, let's just get some Holy Ghost backbone and do this. Love you. I've got to, too. Love you guys. I really do. See ya. Um, got more to come, so. Oh, I'm going to end with this. And, you know, I kind of, I mean, I do the YouTube thing. I don't even like any of this stuff or Facebook, but so I'm looking at different ministries and stuff. Man, a lot of them have shut down their comments. Why? Because they're gutless. I'm going to say this. Probably not going to be well received, but that's okay. One of the ones that supposedly in charge of the Christian movement in this country comments are turned off. Why? Why do we have to hear you but you can't hear us? That's not God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, there's word, none of it. That's why that 5 a.m. prayer is so important, guys. He wants to hear you. He is a good father. He is gracious and merciful. He is truth, life. There's a good message in this. But we're not listening. We, it's not I am and you're not, it's we. 
Me too. I'm still, like I said, I'm still in the wheel. So if I get some of this wrong, 90%, 95% of what I'm saying is true. But if I get some of it wrong, you know, that's why I want to keep my comments on or whatever, you know. I, man, God tells you to tell me something, tell me. Of course, I'm not going to re-comment the F-bomb stuff, but the others, yes, I'm, I'm I just want to be that vessel for honor and not dishonor. And it's time for the mask to come off, the gloves to come off, and Joel's army to rise and shine. So let's see, I'll see you there at 5 a.m. tomorrow, the next day. Love you guys.